there is a data structure at the heart of this application. I call it the RSS article. That almost seems like a pun or a play on the words that would describe this data structure in relation to what it deals with in the real world. News articles, news feeds, and headlines. But given how this application is currently construed and put together, this data structure is the prominent data structure in the application. And using this one data structure, multiple views within the application, multiple parts of the application, are able to accomplish their work. Or, suffice it to say, we've been able to structure the application to make maximum use of this one data structure. So, this data structure stands by itself as a C++ structure, okay? But, we have an opportunity to affiliate some operations with it. So, whereas in classical OOP, object-oriented programming, you would have a class with fields and properties and methods, here you have a structure and a module where you have the structure defined separately, that's your data, and you have the operations defined separately, what you would call methods. And nearly all your C APIs work the exact same way. Therefore, by doing it this way, I am remaining consistent with the very APIs that I'm using. And so that was part of my objective in the redesign of this application and this process. And in modernizing the use of C and C++ is to take the things that we actually use and put them together in a more coherent fashion. And here we have the RSS article being put, put in place with relevant functionality and we're going to build and compile it and note its um, changes in the Git repository. And then once the application gets going it's going to utilize this to present information to the rest of the application. And that's how you get onto the road of greater productivity from a data standpoint.